So if you watched my latest incredibly elitist video where I called everybody an idiot who doesn't understand that Kill la Kill has cool animation and you totally understood and agreed with it uh, and you thought it was great, this video is not really aimed at you, though you might still get a kick out of it. This video is aimed at people who watched that video and had this, left the sentiment, there's a lot of comments I got carrying the sentiment that, uh, that I'm, I'm sort of like, polishing a turd here that like you know I'm defending laziness or shitty animation and saying it's inventive oh it looks like shit so it's inventive if you think that you have totally misinterpreted the point of my video and you are a human idiot and I'm gonna get into why because people had a problem with me saying what was obviously a joke line but you know already people who don't get jokes as the line itself stated so I'm not surprised they didn't get that one anyways Kill la kill. What makes the animation special is that it's always happening. Now, the point I was trying to make in the early part of the video is that most TV anime is not usually animated. It has moments that are well animated, but most of it is just still shots of characters fucking standing there and talking. Kill la kill has as much Sakuga in it as any other Sakuga show you could name. Now it doesn't have necessarily the best Sakuga. It does not have anything that's as good as the best fights in One Punch Man or really your typical Bones show. It doesn't have the best animation ever. But it has as, mu as many like really high quality intense action scenes with really well made animation as any of those shows. As any of those high quality action shows. The difference is that in between all of those high intensity action scenes in a normal show is a bunch of fucking nothing. It's just characters standing there, looking pretty, great character designs, great background art, great, you know, uh, digital processing. But they're just fucking standing there. Fate Stay Night. Everyone, oh, unlimited budget works. And yeah, the fight scenes in Fate Stay Night are really fucking impressive. But most of that show is characters fucking standing there. They're just talking. They're just standing in a place and their mouth is just moving open and closed without any synchronicity with the words coming out of it. They're just standing there. But the character designs are really good and the background art is really good and it's got these digital effects on it that makes everything look pretty. It always looks nice even though it's not usually moving. And Kill La Kill has all of that. Amazing character designs, amazing background art, amazing digital effects. It's a great looking show and they could easily, in fact, they would have saved money if they had just made the characters stand there talking, but they didn't. In Kill La Kill, instead of having characters just stand around, they had things slide around the screen and look goofy and all of it's timed in a really funny way. The pacing of images is really satisfying to watch. It's not any cheaper than a typical show because most shows, they just wouldn't be moving. In this show, they just took the stills and had them slide across the screen in goofy, funny ways so that it would always be moving, so it would always be exciting and funny and something would always be visually happening. That's what what makes it special and I explained this just fine in the video but since people don't seem to get it I'm reiterating it kill la kill has as much great animation as any of those other shows the only reason it looks goofy sometimes is because instead of static shots they had moving shots and if you think that makes the show lazier you're thinking backwards yes those shots are more obviously you know, budget conserving. They're more obviously not well animated because instead of just a pretty picture, it's a pretty picture that moves in a goofy, funny way. And I respect that way more than images that just decide to sit still. That's my point. So I hope that me screaming at you makes you understand that more. Sorry if this is extremely harsh, but I can't stand this kind of comment. And, and everyone who makes it, fucking has this attitude, this snarky, like, <clears throat> yeah, well, that's not, pff, you're just, just yeah. shut the fuck up, okay? I'm making this point on the basis of feeling very strongly and passionately about it. I'm not just trying to fucking polish Kill La Kill because it's my baby, because I love it. It's, 
I think this is a style of animation I want to see more of. This is where I think the industry should be moving and I want more people willing to take this risk because I don't think that shows should be all about pretty fucking pictures, all right? Because I don't take myself seriously like that. I don't want my shows taking them, I don't want shows that are like, oh, well, you know, we're not going to do that goofy shit. Ugh, how, like, what, what would happen if I looked ugly for one second? <laughs> No, I want shows that are exciting and fun and have a personality. That's why I like Kill La Kill's animation.